So I guess this is going to be part review, part tribute, part just reasons why I adore and love the game. So if you want to play semantics, I guess you can call it a review. But I just don't want to talk about it in typical review sense of like, oh, the gameplay is good and the graphics are good. In fact, I'll actually start out by saying that the graphics for Red Dead Redemption still surprisingly hold up today. It is quite staggering to think that this game is 10 years old and it came out last generation. In fact, pretty soon you can say that this game came out two generations ago. That to me is just just mind blowing. And yeah, the other typical review points, the gameplay is awesome, the gunplay is badass, but I was really thinking about it, I was trying to think of things to say to really justify doing a video, and it really struck me that Red Dead Redemption 1 was the first game that I ever played where I realised that video games can be an art form. I was 12 when this game came out, so up until that point, I saw video games purely as fun time killers or just really fun things to just play and cause mayhem and anarchy on, specifically Rockstar's previous games prior to Red Dead Redemption, like GTA 4 and San Andreas. I loved those games back when I first played them, but I haven't really grown to appreciate them as games like I do now. It's just, you know, jump in a game, get in a car, blow stuff up, cause chaos, oh, it's really fun and enjoyable. That's how I saw games up until when Red Dead Redemption 1 came out. And I remember my brothers, they bought the game when it came out, or around when it came out, and they pitched it to me as simply GTA in the Old West, or Cowboy GTA, because it was Rockstar Games and they made a Cowboy Wild West open world game, and they were like, oh it's like GTA but in the Wild West you steal horses instead of cars and you go into saloons and shoot people, and that interested me, so I gave it a shot and expected it just to be a fun game to play, you know, stealing horses, doing some cool shootouts as a cool cowboy, but when I was playing it, I realised that this is the first game where I truly feel invested in what's happening in the story. John Marston was the first video game protagonist that I remember truly caring for, and I really attached to him and sympathised with his situation. And the more the story progressed and the more John Marston had to confront his past in the form of his previous fellow gang members, the more my eyes just widened and I was like, I'm actually, you know, caring about what's happening. There actually feels like things are happening and there's a purpose to everything that's being said and to every mission that's happening and to every little line of dialogue. It doesn't just feel like a pointless sandbox that serves as a backdrop to the chaos and the anarchy that you cause, which is how I see most open world games nowadays, like Just Cause or like Watch Dogs or whatever. And this is why Rockstar are the best at open world games because they truly feel alive. And Red Dead Redemption 1 was the first open world where I felt immersed into it. I mean, GTA 4, I, I love that open world, I love San Andreas' open world simply, again, as backdrops to the chaos back when I first played them when I was really young, because again, didn't appreciate them as games at that point. But playing Red Dead 1 for the first time, riding my horse through the wilderness, looking at the incredible landscapes brought to life by the amazing graphics, and that incredible musical score in the background really amplifying that Old West feeling, I truly felt like I was there in the Old West, and I was a gunslinger, cowboy badass, just navigating the frontier. And that's why Red Dead Redemption means as much to me as it does, because it was the first video game that I ever played where it didn't feel like just a fun game to play, which it still was. It was still really enjoyable to play with a gunfight and whatnot, like I've already said, and it's still really entertaining and fun to play to this day. But again, it was the first game that I ever played where I truly cared about what I was doing in the game and what the characters were doing in the game. And that's the reason why the fact that it's 10 years old now is so bittersweet for me, and also for simple nostalgic reasons. Like, every time I hear those musical cues and riffs from the Red Dead 1 soundtrack, it just instantly takes me back to playing the game and it takes me back to my high school days and again, passage of time. I can't stand it. Red Dead Redemption is one of my all-time favourite games. If I was to make a top 10 list, this would be in the top 5, I think, definitely. And even though I said this is not a conventional review, I'm still going to rate it up because I like rating stuff. Red Dead Redemption, to this day, 10 years later, is still absolutely a 5 out of 5 game. Thanks for watching as always guys, and tell me down there just your thoughts on Red Dead Redemption. When did you first play the game? What are your memories of the game? And fun question, which one do you think is better, Red Dead 1 or Red Dead 2? Whatever your thoughts on all that stuff are, let me know down there. And if you want to see more of myself, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.